There is a lineup for this A heat of the men's 100 metres. It includes Coma Bailey Cole of Jamaica, Nesta Carter of Jamaica, Asava Powell of Jamaica, three of the first four in the Jamaican championships, which, uh, which I guess are pretty much on a par, if not in terms of depth, but certainly in terms of quality with the US championship 100 metres. So let's go through the full lineup here. There is a British representative, the UK champion, is in lane eight. So he's in uh, exalted company. Kamar Hyman of the Cayman Islands, 10.07, his best time this year. He in lane one, so he'll be looking through the corner of his right eye. And the first side you'll see, the blue colours there, Kamar Bailey Cole, who finished fourth in the World Championship final in Moscow back in 2013, and having finished third in the Jamaican Championships recently, behind uh, both Asava Powell and Nikhil Ashmead, who's the only one missing here of the leading four, will be representing Jamaica at the World Championships in Beijing. Nesta Carter will be there too. He's a vital cog in the relay wheel, fourth in those Jamaican Championships. And Asava Powell, 9.84 is winning time in Kingston to win that trial race, did so impressively, and since then he's gone faster. Terrific run, 9.81 in Paris, and that was a meeting that's produced some uh, astonishing times and performances. Clayton Vaughan of the United States. He was eliminated in the heats in the US Championships in Eugene. Traven Bromel, one of the big stories to come out of those championships, the man who finished uh, second in that final, 9.84, the world number three. Andrew Fisher, fifth in the Jamaican Championships, so... Uh, We've actually got four of the first five from that Kingston race. Alex Wilson of Switzerland from the Basel Club. 10.17 is best time this year. And on the outside there, Jijindu Uja of Great Britain, CJ is how he prefers to refer to himself. Now 21, UK champion. Hasn't broken 10 seconds this year, ran 9.96 in Hengelo last year. So the athletes from lanes two to lane six have all broken 10 seconds this season. The men's 100 meters A race. And Asava Pell, the tall, powerful figure with the long levers, stretching out, and he's going clear of his field here on his left, Nesta Carter. Kamar Belly Cole has been left. Well, 9.88, a slight following wind. And what, if anything, was more impressive than the time was the margin of supremacy over a very strong field indeed. CJ Uja came through strongly nearest to the camera towards the end, but he was barely in the same postcode as this fella. Well, it's not, well, it's not quite a uh, me meeting record, Martin. That's a 9.85 by uh, one, none other than Blake back in 2012 when he was in such good form, and Nesta Carter running 9.86 in 2010. And indeed, Walter Dix equaling that time, 9.88 back in 2010 as well. But uh, he is in great form, Powell, isn't he? And frankly, he's the only man in the world at the moment who looks remotely like he could challenge uh, Gatlin. But Gatlin is still a couple of metres better. Looks good here in the red. Very strong out of the blocks for a big man. Nesta Carter is a good starter. That's a better run from him. He hasn't been in great form of late. Second place there by half a metre or so from Bailey Cole over on the far side. But uh, a suffer Powell is sort of in this no-man's land between Gatlin and the pack, isn't he? Yeah, CJ Ujar may well, it's very, very close, for third place. If Ujar does get past Bailey Cole, that will be a significant scalp. 
Vanessa Vapel, untouchable in all really but the company of Justin Gatlin. Justin Gatlin, the three fastest times in the world this year, a 9.74 and two 9.75s. The Powell, the unchallenged number two. So 9.87 it's rounded down to. Terrific performance. Carter, Bailey Cole, Ujart just behind the three Jamaicans.